Good evening and welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell, here at the final show of this Friday afternoon here at the Bauer Showcase. On today's show, I talked to Kirk Peck, a local scout. Nick Bazarin is talking to Salmon Arm Silverbacks, Captain Blake Box, and more. You're watching BCHL Central. I'm Joe McKirkpeck, a local hockey scout, major event for scouts. Why is that? I think because it's one-stop shopping. Scouts can come here, they see players that are just starting their junior careers, players that are close to finishing them, and the different levels of scouts are looking for different aspects and different ages. So they get to see all the teams, all the players, and maybe set the future watch for the season and what they're looking for. So talk about that. Is it better to do it at the beginning of the season, the middle or end? Yes. You, you actually have to do it throughout and follow the careers. So starting early is the key. And I'm here looking partly at the changes from last year with some players to see if they've developed further or if they've not kept up their physical abilities and maybe are not as good as they were last year. So as a hockey scout, what do you look for in a hockey player? There's so many things. Uh, age is obviously critical because the different levels from the NHL to the WHL, they have certain requirements and then you got the NCAA guys that are looking for specific types of players. So age is key, hockey sense and hockey smarts, smooth skating is always going to be critical but you can compensate a little bit of that if they're in the right position. So there's so many aspects to look at and so many attributes to factor in that it really is a full-time, keep your eye open type of job. And now speaking about hockey scouts, you know, how did you get involved? Like it's probably not something you just pick up, it's something you gotta learn, right? You gotta learn, you've gotta have a passion for it, and you've also had to done things in the past to help you along the way. I grew up playing my amateur hockey in Quebec, and from there joined the military and sort of got away from it until a friend of mine contacted me, and he's a WHL scout and owns his own player management company. He contacted me here on the West Coast, asked me if I was interested. I sort of took it from there, and I've been working with him with Wolf Hockey Management ever since. All right, and lastly, who's standing out so far in the BCHL? Nice question. <laughs> Not sure you're going to get an answer. Um, I think there's a lot of surprises. You know, some teams like Surrey that just played, they've got um, you know, a very young defensive core. So it's interesting to watch that as opposed to some other teams that go with veterans on defense. And then there's a few, including the shutout tonight. So um, there's always stuff to watch for, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more in the next couple days. Great. Thank you, Kurt. Thanks, Telly. All right, pass thing down to Nick Bazarin, speaking to Mitch McClay. Nick. Thanks, Sally. I'm here with the captain of the Langley Riverman, Mitch McClain. Mitch, you just scored the overtime winner in your first game as captain. How does it feel? Uh, it feels good. Um, you know, it could have been anybody. Uh, I got lucky enough. We moved the puck around. I was out there with... Uh, two other Minnesota kids, so it felt like we were just playing a little pond hockey. But just got in the slot and a big screen by Ustaski, and uh, felt good to watch it go in the net, that's for sure. I talked to you before the game. Does this mean I'm going to have to interview you before every game now? Uh, I'm pretty superstitious, so we might have to make a date of it every night. I don't mind. And how did you feel about the game all in all? How did you feel that your team played for the full 60-plus minutes? You know, I'm, I'm proud of the guys. Um, we played full 60. We played hard. There's uh, things we can work on, you know, first game of the season, get pucks in, get pucks out, when to take chances, when not to. But overall, we got the two points, and that's what we're here for. Thanks, Mitch, and congratulations again. Thank you. Back to you, Tally. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Great. Thank you, Nick. The final game is just ending right behind me. After day one, uh, Penticton beats Victoria 2-1. to one. Merritt beats Coquitlam 5-2. to two. Langley beats Trail in overtime 4-3, to three. and Surrey gets the shutout 3 to nothing. I right, pass things over to Nick Bazard, who's talking to the Salmon Arm Silverbacks captain Blake Box, who is getting prepared for the game tomorrow versus Victoria Grizzlies. I'm here with the captain of the Salmon Arm Silverbacks, Blake Box. Blake, what are you doing to prepare for your first game tomorrow against the Victoria Grizzlies? You know what? We know what we need to do. We're going to have a good sleep tonight and come, up, come out ready to go tomorrow morning. What are some of the changes you made during the offseason for this coming 2013 2014 season? I think we brought in a little more skill. I think we're going to put some more pucks in the net. We have some gritty guys. and. 
I think we're going to be ready to go. And how do you feel about some of the younger players that are on your team now? Do you feel like they fit into the chemistry and on the ice and off the ice as well? Oh, absolutely. Every team in this league has some young guys, and I think ours are really, we got some really good young ones coming in, and they're going to be good players in this league. Thank you so much, Blake. Thank you. Of course, Nick Bastard did an interview earlier on today, and he joins us now at the desk. Uh, Nick, we have a new segment coming to BCHL Central. What is it? Well, Tally, the segment is called Where Are They Now? This segment is going to feature the alumni from the BCHL from all levels of the league, whether it be coaches, players, or even play-by-play -play announcers. Fantastic. Can't wait to see that. Of course, day number one is wrapping up here at the Bauer Showcase. Day number two happens early tomorrow morning. First game at 11.30 a.m. Six games on hand tomorrow. First one is Vernon and Surrey. Two strong teams coming together. Vernon, of course, hosting the RBC Cup this year. What games that can be like? It's going to be, well, you got to expect it's going to be an amazing game. I don't want to go out and say it's going to be an amazing game because, of course, anything can happen in this league. It could be very one-sided. Sir Eagles went to the RBC Cup last year, but the Vernon Vipers are hosting the RBC Cup, so that gives them a little bit more fire, a little bit more motivation, and Surrey only has six returning players from that great team last year. And then at noon behind us in the main ring, Victoria Grizzlies take on the Salmon Arm Silverbacks. A Victoria Grizzlies captain last year, Zach Urban, is now the assistant captain over on Salmon Arm. What's that going to be like? It's going to be interesting. I mean, when a player is traded from one team to the other and they face that team, there's always a little extra motivation, some emotion there. But especially being the captain on the Victoria Grizzlies previously, it's going to be a little extra fire underneath his skates. Absolutely. And the Nanaimo Clippers take on the West Kona Warriors tomorrow. Uh, Nanaimo kind of rebuilding after a, a somewhat strong year last year, holding, hosting the Western Canada Cup. Uh, what kind of year are they going to have? We we can't really predict with the Nanaimo Clippers. I mean, they've been up and down the last couple of years, and of course, they don't want to call this a rebuilding year. This has to be a year in which they can contend for a playoff spot. At the same time, try and bring some new younger players in for the next couple of seasons. And then Alberta takes on Penticton, and then Prince George on Couch and Valley, uh, Couch Valley Capital. Sorry, a Couch had a very tough year last year, to say the least. Uh, hired a brand new coach, Bob Beatty, who has changed a lot of things. Is he an improvement to that team? He has to be. You guys say anything with Bob Beatty is an improvement, and I mean he's a proud coach. He's going to make this organization once again a proud team, and he's going to kick their butt into gear and get things going in Couch and Valley. And tomorrow, 7 p.m. behind us in the main arena, the Chilliwack Chiefs, the home team, take on the Power River King. King, sorry, Power River, a very young team, uh, like seven rookies in their team. Uh, you know, young guys or, or veterans. What do you want in your team nowadays? You want a mixture of both, Tally. I mean, especially in this league where, in the junior level. Guys are filtering in, in and out constantly. Of course, aging out at whatever age it is in different leagues, 20, 21. And basically, having a lot of young guys is good because it might set you up for the next couple of years, but you might not be able to contend for quite a while because you need those veterans in place who can lead the charge, something that Chilliwack does have, and you have to give Chilliwack the advantage in this matchup. Great, thank you, Nick. That is us wrapping up day one here at the Bauer Showcase at Prospera Center. I'm Tally Callis, Nick Bazarin, for editor and and sorry, editor and camera operator Chris Munz-Nicklin and producer Bill Stewart. Have a fantastic, fantastic night. We'll see you tomorrow.